Hey guys, for usual, everything on this channel is for educational purposes only, and it's not intended as financial advice. So I've been getting a lot of requests to discuss Litecoin in some capacity. Let's take a look at some stats, some fundamentals, if you will. This is bitinfocharts.com, great website, whoever made this amazing stuff. All these coins, you can look at all these stats. Transactions is a big one in general for just legacy people, uh, and me, really. I mean, I want to know how many transactions are on a network. That really speaks to the value of the network. You can see Litecoin clearly hitting all-time highs. 44,000 is nothing if we add Bitcoin. You can see where Bitcoin is at, almost 360,000. And uh, you want to see something really ridiculous, look at Ethereum. Thanks to the ICOs, no doubt, well above even with Bitcoin at this point in the game. So if you're, if you're leaning on transactions per day as key metric. Litecoin's doing much better than it has been doing, uh, but Ethereum, you know, people say Litecoin's undervalued. It's highly likely me saying this is a Bitcoin maximalist, but that Ethereum is undervalued based on the transactions per day. Uh, looking at block size, so one of the key things I'm going to talk about is Litecoin getting SegWit. You can see on general block size sitting down here around 10k, their block times are about two minutes. Uh, if we go to block time real quick, the fundamentals of, so if you're not a Litecoin person, fundamentals of Litecoin are a little different from the mining perspective as than uh, Bitcoin. You can see here around two and a half minutes, somewhere between two and three minutes a block. So their block sizes are different as well. Uh, but in general, again, this speaks to the, to the transactions that have been growing quite steadily for Litecoin as price is growing. So no surprise there. And then lastly, if we look at uh, market cap, see just insane runs here on uh, the market cap. And if we compare that to Ethereum and Bitcoin, you know, this does look quite low for where it should be. And we'll look at some technicals pointing to why this is probably moving higher in the ratio realm, as well as the uh, USD pair. And then one more last thing I like to look at, um, hash rate and difficulty. You can clearly see hash rate has just exploded as uh, price has exploded. So no shocker there. And difficulty also at uh, all time high being a function of hash rate no shocker. So if we go to the daily, talk about a few events, splash that against the price, you can see March 10th, SegWit activated. Anytime you see a protocol improvement, huge impetus to move higher, especially on something that's just been dead for uh, years at this point. Uh, so they get that, great. Uh, May 3rd, they get added, added to Coinbase, which to me was an even bigger impetus to move higher in price. That means new buyers can on-ramp without first buying coin uh, Bitcoin and then moving it to Polo or somewhere else to buy uh, Litecoin. It may have been on GDAX at that point as a ratio. I'm not sure. Uh, back here, I'm not, I'm not actually sure. And then in May 10th, Charlie Lee, the head developer of Litecoin, leaves Coinbase, uh, which again, huge bullish news because that meant to me and many others that he uh, would focus his time on Litecoin development. So you can see all these events, how prices reacted, where price is now. If we zoom out even more, go to the weekly. Again, you can see how this thing is dying, was dying for uh, almost a year and a half. Just straight, straight doom, no chaser, okay? Uh, and then those fundamental events happened and here we are. The other thing I see immediately, obviously, is this volume, uh, which is massive and uh, relatively massive for where it was and descending okay anytime you see descending volume you immediately look at price structure what is price structure t trying to tell you for me it looks very much like a consolidation to move higher some sort of flag or pennant or whatever you want to call it uh, this is what it would look like uh, somewhere around 0.046 you know it, it'll probably go higher if it breaks out at that point it'll be above all-time high, I believe. I'd have to look at older data, but I think that would be above all-time high for the ratio, so it'll probably push higher than that. Probably going to end soon, sooner rather than later, uh, end being this consolidation, simply because volume uh, can only descend down for so long. Certainly it can just channel at zero for weeks, but considering how active this has been since the beginning of the year, I expect it to move higher on uh, a volume breakout based on this structure, based on this volume profile. And I always like to look back at charts, not to pat myself on the back, but to convince people, get buy-in as to why the cloud is important, should be paid attention to. This is from April 21st. I was pointing out an edge-to-edge -edge trade here. And if we look at where we are now, that's exactly where we are, exactly where we uh, went from the edge-to-edge -edge trade. You don't often see altcoins on a doubled weekly chart. There's usually not enough data. When there is, use it. It is your Bible, okay? <laughs> Just like Doge, when you see enough data, 
you know, Litecoin's been around forever at this point, and relatively. And again, with edge-to-edge -edge trades, you get in here, you get out here. You know, yeah, you miss some of the, you miss, you know, you miss all of this, you miss some of this, but at the very least, your exits and entries are high probability. So if we're looking at the daily and the setting of the weekly being insanely bullish based on volume profile and structure, looking at the daily now, the cloud, again, I just like doubled. I'm an old school guy. I like the doubled. For when there's enough data and when it's an older coin, I like doubled. So right now we have price above cloud, not a bullish TK cross, not a bullish cloud. Lagging spans above price above cloud. Um, one th so two things you're waiting for here are uh, price, uh, excuse me, cloud Kumo to flip bullish and TK to flip bullish. When that happens, that's a super strong entry signal. The only thing you got to be careful of is this range. Uh, anytime you see it ranging, cloud signals are inherently weaker, but certainly just as valid, especially on the double cloud settings on the daily, which is a, a ton of data at that point. The other thing to watch for, which is a few weeks away at this point at least, is a Kumo twist on the doubled weekly cloud with all the signals being bullish. That's a buy and hold signal as far as I'm concerned, and you just watch it from there. These play out similar to the Bitcoin weekly. Now that was a buy and hold after the Kuma breakout. Counterparty, this cloud looks very similar. That's why I'm bullish. Long, long term, weeks, months on um, counterparty. If we look at uh, LTC USD, again, how do we get here? I was calling head and shoulders. Volume profile was sort of there. Price structure was sort of there. Looked good. It was bearish on the cloud. It was bearish on the 5200. Target was 20. It just didn't happen. Uh, it never really went anywhere. And then we had uh, this ascending triangle, which had a nice volume, descending volume profile. Nice structure, low time frame, uh, but when things are moving, you can afford to go down on the time frames and look for signals there. Immediately, the target was 78, busted up way above 78. Beyond that, I was saying 88 or something like that, and uh, we hit 100, 98, 100, something like that on uh, Coinbase. No surprise, psychological level got slapped down. Uh, it's falling with Bitcoin nicely, but again, if it's going to overtake those ratios, if those metrics on uh, mining and transactions keep turning up, you can expect that ratio to turn up pretty hard as well. So this is just Heiken Ashi singled cloud. Uh, you can see just strong trend since middle August based on cloud signals. Key June bounce here, uh, projecting targets just based on fibs of 133 is probably the highest probability should this break up. It might have a little ways to consolidate yet. Uh, again, looking on that weekly, it's got a few more weeks probably before that volume break happens and uh, pushes higher. There's definitely a bullish lean on all of this, uh, USD or ratio, uh, and stops 63, I think, is the bottom of this wick. So uh, again, when you're in Heiken Ashi, any long wicks or momentumless candles is where you move your stops. So depending on where you're in or out here, I don't know. I'm in, I'm holding from low, low, so it doesn't really matter to me. But uh, if you're on leverage, it's one thing to watch for. And uh, lastly, if you if you want to force a pitchfork, you can. This is what I came up with. Clearly hits the median line here, bounces down. Great. That's what you want to see. It's bouncing on some of these extra uh, diags, bouncing around in here. So again, median line, high probability if the trend should continue. Just expect continual touches and consolidation around that median line uh, up here would be sell it all zone for sure. A lot of people, uh, more so than probably any other coin, reaching out to me asking about Litecoin recently. Not unlikely because of the all-time high break on USD for sure. Uh, that's all I have for today. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, Telegram, and happy trading.